Now, police have a suspect in custody tonight after the body of a missing businessman was found with a gunshot wound to his head early this morning. Let's get right to Local 12's Brad Underwood. He is live at the Hamilton County Sheriff's Office with what investigators are saying. Brad. Well, good evening, Paul. And according to the Lachlan Police Department, they do have a person of interest in custody. And I did speak with one officer with the department who told me that this is our guy and he's being questioned here at the Hamilton County Sheriff's Office off of Hamilton Avenue. And while we can show you what's going on here inside the garage, there's a crime scene unit as well as uh, some officers of various departments and the Hamilton County Sheriff's Office uh, taking some photos, gathering evidence uh, from a red car that is inside the garage just to the right of the crime scene van and uh, taking whatever they can to get out of this. This is the vehicle that the suspect uh, was traveling in on 275. And they apprehended this man just uh, before 8 o'clock after a very brief low-speed pursuit on 275 near Blue Rock in Colerain Township. Uh, again, believing this is the suspect, police calling us the person of interest in the murder and the abduction of James Rollman. And take you back to the last uh, 24 to 36 hours of what brought us to this point uh, this evening, yesterday, Friday morning, uh, Mr. Roman was abducted after withdrawing $6,500 from U.S. Bank in Lachland. Earlier today, his car was found inside an abandoned silo in Lachland. He was inside the car with a gunshot wound to the head. Uh, they found him deceased in that vehicle. And then just a few short hours later, a slow pursuit began on 275 involving various agencies, including the FBI, several police departments, the sheriff's office. Uh, and that chase ended in a wreck, and that is when they apprehended the suspect. And according to that Lachlan police officer I spoke with, they brought him here for questioning. Now, at this time, no official charges have been made. This man's name has not been released, but the police believe they do have their man in this abduction and murder. Reporting live tonight, Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. Paula. And Brad, let me ask you, this suspect, this man in this low-speed chase that's in custody, do we know in that vehicle during that chase, was he alone in the car? Do we know at that point? Uh, we haven't heard uh, from any agencies that there were any other people in the vehicle. Uh, within the last 15 minutes, uh, a woman was driven in here by a Green Township police uh, cruiser. We don't know who that person is or, or, or how they relate to this investigation other than they do have, uh, police believe they have their man here at the sheriff's office. Thank you, Brad. Well, a more than five hour long standoff 